Comprehensive Guide to MSME Compliance under the MSMED Act 2006. Over the years in India, the idea of micro, small, and medium enterprises MSMEs has changed drastically. The Industrial Policy Resolution of 1956 was a major step in recognizing the key role that small scale industries could play. This has led to the introduction of a number of policies and programs that are aimed at supporting these enterprises such as credit facilities, skill development programs and market assistance which further culminated in enacting the Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Act 2006 MSMED Act. This act has clearly laid down the legal framework by which MSME can be recognized and developed as opposed to a hunch in earlier SSI frameworks. This guide provides a comprehensive understanding of MSME regulations and outlines the key compliance requirements for MSMEs. Definition of MSMEs MSMEs are defined based on their investment in plant and machinery or equipment and their annual turnover. According to the Ministry of Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises in India, the classifications are Investment in plant and machinery or equipment for micro enterprises does not exceed rupees 1 crore and turnover does not exceed rupees 5 crore. For small enterprises does not exceed rupees 10 crore and turnover does not exceed rupees 50 crore and for medium enterprises does not exceed rupees 50 crore and turnover does not exceed rupees 250 crore. Key compliance aspects To ensure the growth and sustainability of MSMEs Various compliance requirements have been established. Key compliance requirements are as follows. 1. Filing UDIM registration by new enterprises. UDIM registration is the official registration for MSMEs in India, introduced to simplify the process and bring uniformity. Any person who intends to establish a micro, small or medium enterprise may file UDIM registration online in the UDIM registration portal based on self-declaration with no requirement to upload documents, papers, certificates, or proof or fees. New enterprises must file for UDIM registration to avail various benefits such as subsidies, tax benefits, and access to government schemes. 2. Updating of information in UDIM registration portal by enterprise. It is mandatory for MSMEs having UDIM registration number to keep their information updated on the UDIM registration portal. This includes changes in business activities, address, contact details, details of the ITR and the GST return for the previous financial year, and such other additional information as may be required on self-declaration basis. 3. Ensuring payments to MSE suppliers on or before due dates. According to the MSMED Act, buyers must make payments to MSE suppliers within the agreed credit period, which should not exceed 45 days from the date of acceptance or the date of deemed acceptance of the goods or services and where there is no agreement in this behalf, then before the appointed day. 4. Submission of application for setting aside decree, award or order. Appellant not being a MSME supplier is aggrieved by a decree, award or order passed by any court or authority. It can submit an application for setting aside such decisions, along with 75% of the amount in terms of the decree, award, order in the manner directed by court. This is particularly relevant in disputes regarding payments or contracts. 5. Disclosure of unpaid amount with interest by buyer. Buyers are required to disclose the details of unpaid amounts along with the interest payable to MSE suppliers in their annual statement of accounts in order to get their annual accounts audited under any law for the time being in force. 6. Reference of dispute and payment to MSEFC. The Micro and Small Enterprises Facilitation Council MSEFC is established to resolve disputes regarding payments to MSEs. Enterprises can refer their payment disputes to the MSEFC for arbitration and resolution in prescribed form specified in Samad Han website. 7. Disclosing Enterprise Information to Government by MSME MSMEs are required to disclose certain information to the government. This may include the basic enterprise details, investment details, production details, persons employed, and other relevant information as per Rule 3 in the form annexed under the Micro, Small and Medium Enterprises Development Furnishing of Information Rules, 2016. This information must be submitted online to the central government. Adherence to all the compliance requirements under the MSMED Act is important for enterprises to avoid penalties. Timely and accurate filing of the memorandum, obtaining the UDHIM registration number, making prompt payments to MSMEs, 
disclosing necessary information in annual accounts, and keeping the UDIM registration information updated are some of the essential practices that should be ensured. Thus, by giving priority to these responsibilities of conformity, companies promote a more resilient and sustainable economic ecosystem while enjoying the advantage of benefits given by MSMED Act.